Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for July 23rd, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day. Ambition. The certainty that we are no longer isolated in self-constructed prisons, the surety that we need no longer be square pegs in round holes, but can fit and belong in God's scheme of things, these are the permanent and legitimate satisfactions of right living for which no amount of pomp and circumstance, no heap of material possessions could possibly be substitutes. True ambition is not what we thought it was. True ambition is the deep desire to live usefully and walk humbly under the grace of God. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, pages 124 to 125. Thought to Consider The mighty oak tree was once a little nut that held its ground. AA Acronyms FIT, F-I-T, Faith, intuition, and trust. Just for today, small miracles from a late start. Small miracles keep offering new opportunities just when I need change and growth. New friends have shown me hidden truths in those sayings I once found so shallow. The lessons of tolerance and acceptance have taught me to look beyond exterior appearances to find the help and wisdom so often lurking beneath the surface. All my sobriety and growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, are dependent upon my willingness to listen, understand, and change. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 542. Daily Reflections. I ask God to decide. I pray that you now remove from me every single defect of character which stands in the way of my usefulness to you and my fellows. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 76. Having admitted my powerlessness and made a decision to turn my will and my life over to the care of God, as I understand Him, I don't decide which defects get removed, or the order in which defects get removed or the time frame in which they get removed. I ask God to decide which defects stand in the way of my usefulness to Him and to others, and that I humbly ask Him to remove them. Copyright 1990, Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. As Bill sees it, the building of character. Since most of us are born with an abundance of natural desires, It isn't strange that we often let these far exceed their intended purpose. When they drive us blindly, or we willfully demand that they supply us with more satisfactions or pleasures than are possible or do us, that is the point at which we depart from the degree of perfection that God wishes for us here on earth. That is the measure of our character defects, or, if you wish, of our sins. If we ask... God will certainly forgive our derelictions, but in no case does he render us white as snow and keep us that way without our cooperation. That is something we are supposed to be willing to work toward ourselves. He asks only that we try as best as we know how to make progress in the building of character. 12 and 12, page 65. Big book quote. We are people who normally would not mix but there exists among us a fellowship, a friendliness, and an understanding, which is indescribably wonderful. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition. There is a solution. Page 17. 24 hours a day. We should remember that all AAs have clay feet. We should not set any member upon a pedestal and mark her or him out as a perfect AA. It's not fair to the person to be singled out in this fashion, and if the person is wise, she or he will not wish it. If the person we single out as an ideal AA has a fall, we are in danger of falling too. Without exception, 
We are all only one drink away from a drunk. No matter how long we have been in AA, nobody is entirely safe. AA itself should be our ideal, not any particular member of it. Am I putting my trust in AA principles and not in any one member of the group? Meditation for the day. The inward peace that comes from trust in God truly passes all understanding. That peace no one can take from you. No person has the power to disturb that inner peace. But you must be careful not to let in the world's worries and distractions. You must try not to give entrance to fears and despondency. You must refuse to open the door to distractions that disturb your inward peace. Make it a point to allow nothing today to disturb your inner peace, your heart calm. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not allow those about me to spoil my peace of mind. I pray that I may keep a deep inner calm throughout the day. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, or 2001.